Hi there, my name is Robbie Collins and this is your weekly roundup of the latest news affecting community pharmacy owners and their teams throughout Scotland. First up, we have the electronic acid short supply flag that has now been removed for September, so it'll go back to a normal pricing process for Part 7 lines. Uh, the additions and deletions of Part 7 were published on the 1st of September, so if you haven't seen that one, please do have a look. The details are below. And the technical anomalies delaying the East schedule have now been resolved, so that'll be go back to being sent out as per normal. Uh, we have a message from our colleagues at the National Service Scotland from the 16th of September uh, 2022. The process for ordering PPE will be changed and the details of how it will change and what it will be changed to are below in article. That's a really important one, so do have a look at that one. There has been a new circular from our colleagues at the Scottish Government around the new PGGs for UTI and Impetigo under NHS Pharmacy First Scotland. If you have any questions on that one, please get in touch with us at inquiries at cps.scot. Our colleagues at NES have asked us to make you aware of the upcoming webinar around experiential learning. That'll be on the 27th of September at 7 p.m. So if you're a student pharmacist, get that one booked in your diaries. Um, around the theme of events, we have the PM Healthcare are returning to face to face conference with their first one being the National Forum for Scotland, which will be held at the Voco Hotel in Glasgow. And that will be held on the 25th of October 2022. Uh, and the next one is the first ever Scottish Pharmacy Trade Show, which will be held in Falkirk on the 5th of October. If you're interested in any of those, you can find out the details of how to apply or how and when they are below. Um, we would, next one up is the pilot project from the team at Public Health Scotland. They are exploring the routine inquiries and enhanced support on the survivors of sexual assault following prescribing of emergency hormonal contraception. There is a reminder to return your monitoring forms to your community pharmacy development team. And just so you know, there is more information to follow for those who are participating. And a big thanks to the pharmacies that are. Uh, there is an ask for from the Scottish Government to continue to display the Public Health Scotland campaign poster for lung cancer. Now that was supposed to end on Monday, so if you have taken that one down, you need to pop it back up because that is remaining indefinitely. So please do promote that one. And lastly, check out our Kieran Foley, our public affairs officer. He has written a blog on his experience in community pharmacy. It's a really good read. So please do have a look and thank you. That is everything and thank you for watching.